Shalom. Before I get started, I want to say, call her lie and lie. Yeah, I was by Hashem. Yeah, I was shy by Hashem. Kodash. Which means all praises to the Heavenly Father. Yeah, I was. In the name of His only begotten Son. Yeah, I was shy. Which is our Lord and Savior. And to the Holy Spirit. The bonus to the apostles and elders of great minister who teach and will. Peace and love to the elect of the nation of Israel. And come back again through the spirit power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Bahashem, Kodash, on the border Ana from Jeremiah's Memphis camp. The lesson, the ones going to be in transit. You're going to, uh, real quick on false gods, that these gods, these idols, will not save you during the time of uh, calamity, tribulation, man. So, low will in this lesson be edifying to the left. <clears throat> so, I'm going to start with the book of Isaiah 45 and 20. It reads, Assemble yourselves and come draw near together, ye the escape of the nations. They have no knowledge that set up the wood of the graven images and pray unto a God that cannot save, right? You pray unto an idol that cannot save. I'm mainly speaking about our people, the Israelites, the so called Negroes, blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. They pray unto an idol. The, bigger one, the biggest one is who? Jesus Christ, sits you were aboard you, man. You know, it, 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 it ain't all into other philosophies, religion, Buddha. Hey, some have even turned into voodoo, witchcraft, man. But the main one is what? Jesus, man. And that nigga is, is false, man. His true name, his only name, his Hebrew name, holy name is Yahweh Shah. You see? Those the true name. That's his true name, man. His name is not Jesus, man. Most high Christ blessed. No, that's not it. It's Yahweh, why Yahweh shot. So our people pray to a, a God that cannot save them. Don't prop them at all, man. It's <coughs> like you. Um, let's jump to folks. <coughs> you know what? It's like you. Let's get Psalms 96 and 20. I'm a little under the weather. So like Psalms 96 and 4. For the Lord Yahweh is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. Right? All gods, man. They say for all the gods of the nations are idols. Right? They false, man. Man made them, man. You see? It said, but the Lord made the heavens. Right? Our Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai created the heavens and the earth. Everything that you see, the Lord Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai created it. Buddha didn't create nothing. Jesus didn't create nothing. Allah would just mean power. He didn't do nothing. <laughs> right? These gods are nothing. They are false. These false religions. Right? They are nothing, man. No, let's jump to the letters of Jeremiah. <coughs> let, uh, man, this whole chapter, letter of Jeremiah, going in on false gods, man. This, this is a beautiful chapter. Let's see where I'm going to start at. Uh, let's start at 36. I don't want to make the lesson too long, you know. Letter of Jeremiah 1 and 36. It say, uh, they can't save no man from death. Right, Buddha can't save your ass from death. <laughs> you know, Jesus can't, right? They can't save no man from death, right? Because it say, well, let me get it. Psalm 68, be with me. I'm with the system now. Psalm 68 and uh, 20. He that is our power is the power of salvation. And who is that? Yahweh Shah. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. He that is our God, was he the God of Israel, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, is the power of salvation. And unto the Most High, the Lord belonging to issues from death. Right? The Lord kill it and make it alive, man. He wound and he healed, man. You see? It said life, prosperity. Let me get that one before I go back to Jeremiah. Letters of Jeremiah. Let the scripture do the talking. This is uh, Sirach 11 and 14. Prosperity and adversity. Life and death. Right? Poverty and riches come of the Lord. Right? So everything come from on high. You homeless, what? They came from on high. You wish they came from on high, man. You died, they came from on high, you know? So let's go back to uh, the letter of Jeremiah. 
be 36 again. <clears throat> they said they can't save no man from death, neither deliver the weak from the mighty. They cannot restore a blind man to his sight, nor help any man in his distress, right? They can't show no mercy to the widow, nor do good to the fatherless. Their gods are wood in which are overlaid with gold and silver, exactly, are like the stones that be hewn, hewn out of the mountain. They that worship them should be confounded, right? Our every last one of y'all gonna be confounded. You see? Now, every last one of y'all, pork chop pastors, you, you know, you're still a Christian in 2023. Y'all going to be put to shame, man. Right? Hey, even the Lord, <laughs> like it, uh, judges. <clears throat> judges 10 to 13. <coughs> they say, yeah, you have forsaken me. <coughs> And serve other gods, right? False gods. And this is our people, man. Especially uh, the Nordic Kingdom, you know, the so called Latino tribes, right? Hispanic tribe. They love Sedgway Borgia. They love Jesus, Jesus, man. <laughs> Slocky, man. Slocky. I said to come out. They said, Yeah, you have for second me and serve other gods. Well, if I would deliver you no more, right? The Lord said, I would save you no more, man. Especially, you know, <laughs> you know, you still don't believe in um, Jesus, man. The Lord said he's not going to save you no more. When all hell finally break loose, it's over with, man. You haven't um, received this wisdom, knowledge, understanding now. You have not repent now. It's going to be too late for you, man. It's going to be too late for you. Because it says, seek the, seek the Lord where he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. You know? So go and cry out to the gods which you have chosen. Our people have chosen. Well, hey, just like the ancient time, the rabbits, right? They chose a motor. And look at our people now. They chose what Esau eat them, his technology. Why well, you going to choose the chip, <laughs> you know? Esau eat them, man. Our people already had turned aside out the same. Look at our women. So, the, hey, this place is through, man. And you see it. Christianity is a joke, man. Look at these people in the holy houses, man. It's dead. But our people, you know, they're choosing their silver, they're choosing their money, choosing a black woman to become their God. That's, that's, that's wild. But anyway, it said Judges 10 and 14. Go and cry unto the gods which you have chosen. Let them deliver you in a time of your tribulation. Right? Let them rescue you. Let them save you, man. And this is the Lord being sarcastic. He know, and we all know, that the false gods can't save you, man. You know, they can't. But the Lord said, hey, call on Jesus, man. When famine hits your door, you starve like Marvin, your stomach touching your back. You know, UN troops kick down your door, taking you to the uh, fe uh, the FEMA uh, camps, concentration camps, wild beasts, right? Crown to Jesus. He on the main line, right? And guess what? He ain't going to come through. He on vacation. And he been dead, man. So now it's time to seek the Lord. How about Shema Shah, man? Going back to the letters of Jeremiah. <clears throat> it reads so like you little Jeremiah 1 and uh 39 it said that gods of wood which are overlaid with gold and silver are like the stones that have been hewn out the mountains that they they that worship them should be confounded right look at Elon worshiping an elephant I go, come on what the fuck you know come on the Hindus and this man they got so many guys in that it's crazy, man. Let me jump down. It said 44. Later, Jeremiah 1 and 44. 144. It said, Whatsoever is done among them is false. How may it then be thought or said that they are gods? Right. They are made of competence and goldsmith. Exactly. They can be nothing else than the workmen we have them to be. Exactly. 46. And they themselves that made them can never continue alone. Why? Your ass die. <laughs> After you made it, you know, you die. <laughs> right? Let me read this again. Let me park. I made it to my destination. <clears throat> Let it jump my one for the sin. And they that and they themselves that made them can never continue alone. How should then the things that are made of them be gods? You see? 
These things don't continue long, man. These, you know, they worse than, you know. I believe they said it in the same chapter, man. Let me see if I can find it, you know. Yeah, letter Jeremiah 1 and 12. This whole chapter good. It said, yet cannot these gods save themselves from worse and moth, though that be covered with purple raiment. Exactly, man. You know, that's why they standing, polishing. You know, they out us up. You know, try to keep it shiny. <laughs> they can't save themselves, man. They don't continue long. So, we for the sister again. How they themselves that made them can never continue long. How should then the things that are made of them be gods? For they left lies and reproaches to them that come after. Exactly, man. A lie. Christ hey, plantation Christianity. Jesus is a lie. It's a joke. You know? And other uh, false idols, man. You know? For when the, it say, for they, for when they come in any war or plague upon them, the priests consult with themselves where they may be hidden with them. How then cannot man perceive that they be no gods, which can neither save themselves from war nor from plague? Why well, look at the um the people in Hamas? Where they hey, where they got it? Where they ain't stopping the war? You see? So what? They are false. Fifty. They said for said. <coughs> For seeing they be but a wood, and overlaid with silver and gold, it should be known hereafter that they are false. Exactly, man. And it should manifestly appear to all nations and kings that they are no gods, but the works of man's hand, and that there is no work of power in them, man. Who then may not know that they are no gods? So that's the point. These idols will not save you, man. But look on to your house, my shot. Hey, going back to Isaiah 45, let's jump to 22. It reads, Look unto me and be ye saved, all the ends of the earth. For I am the most high, and there is nothing else. Why no other power, no other savior, you, man. So look unto Yahweh while you have a shot for salvation, man. You know, and every nation under the sun go come and bow down. Let me read 23. I'm, I have sworn by myself the word is going out of my mouth in righteousness. It should now return. That unto me, every knee should bow, every tongue should confess. Exactly, man. Everybody go bow down to our Lord, the one and only true God, right? Yahweh, why Yahweh shot? They all gonna bow down and worship our power, man. Let me get Psalms 86. This is Psalms 86. Let's start at 8. Among the gods, there's none like unto thee, white pagan gods, idols. You can't compare no idol to our power, man. O oh Lord, neither are there any works like unto thy works. Exactly. You can't compare it. The Lord himself said, I declare the end since the beginning. What if um, God, you know, he said that. What if God told you about the future? The RFID microchip. The end time. The end days. So I, no no idol can be compared, man. <coughs> nah. All nations whom thou hast made should come and worship before thee, O oh Lord, and should glorify thy name. Where every nation under this song. Um, who the Lord had made, right, created, gonna come and bow down and worship Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. You know? So it's for Jake, Israel. They gotta repent, man. Come out of these holy houses, man. It says in Acts 7 48, the most high dwelling now, temples made with hand. Let's jump to 1 Samuel 12 and 20. It reads. And Samuel said unto the people, Feel not, you have done all this wickedness, yet turn not aside from following the Lord, but serve the Lord with all your heart. Wait, with all your heart, man. Don't turn your back on him. You see? You serve the Lord with all your heart. If not, hey, he gonna, hey, he gonna do you hurt, man. Like, <coughs> well, Joshua, real quick, Joshua 24 and um, 19. And Joshua said unto the people, Joshua 24 and 19, and Joshua said unto the people, You cannot serve the Lord, Yahweh, for he is a holy power. He is a jealous power. Right? And the Lord said, I will not give my glory to another. You know? What a possible I, I, I present unto you. I, I chase virgin unto the most high. You see? He is a holy power. He is a jealous power. He will not forgive your transgressions nor your sins. If you forsake the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, and serve strange gods, which, is, which are idols, you know, false gods, then he will turn and do you hurt, pretty much destroy you, man. 
Because the Lord said, have no other God before me, man. And it said, uh, he will turn and do you hurt and consume you. After that, he had done you good. Exactly what he been so good through you, man. Gave you life, made you an Israelite, right? Hey, especially you've been woken up, received this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from on high, this truth. And you decide to go back in the world. He going to do you hurt, man. You know, the Lord said, I prepared sex for the sword, man. Let's go back to Joshua. It's like it was Samuel. 12 and 21 again. And turn ye not aside, for then she, it's like 20. 4 Samuel 12 and 20. And Samuel said unto the people, Fear not. You have done all this wickedness, yet turn, turn not aside from following the Lord, Yahweh, but serve the Lord, Yahweh, all your heart. And turn ye not aside. For then should you go out to vain things. Right? Don't go back to pretty much worse, man. Idols, man. You know? For then should you go out to vain things, which is vain unto you, man. Which cannot profit nor deliver, for they are vain. Right? They are useless, man. They can't save. They can't rescue you, man. You see? So stay away from the idols. Let's end it with uh, 4 John 5 and 21. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Amen. You see? Dear children, keep away from anything that might take the most high place in your hearts. Right? So stay away from it, man. Lord, wait. You have a son. You can't serve the most high mammon. You know? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to end it there. 1 Corinthians 10 and 14. They said, Wherefore, my dearly beloved, flee idolatry. So don't worship idols, man. Flee it, man. But worship your how up by showing your how shot, man. Worship him and him only, man. So with that, what's he gonna give our praises to your how up by Hashem? Your how shot by Hashem by Chak Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great men stone, teaching well, peace and love to the